But first at 530, a state DMV office closed for several weeks to the surprise of many drivers. And it's just the first of many that will be closed in the coming weeks for an extended period of time. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us with the story that's new at 530. It's begun. Rhode Islanders have waited years for a new computer system at the DMV, but it means the office will have to be closed to install it. The first closure started today. The Wakefield DMV branch is closed Monday and will be for close to two months. Two months. Well, luckily I only come to the DMV once a year. Westerly resident Nick Benoy, one of many drivers I talked to who found out the hard way, realizing they'd need to drive to the Cranston headquarters now. Yeah, there's nothing worse than going to the DMV than on top of that, seeing that this one's closed. Got to waste some time to drive up there. The Rhode Island DMV just started the switch over from an Reagan era computer system to a newly designed multi-million dollar system. It was supposed to be finished in 2010, but after years of delays and a recently settled lawsuit, the program we're told is ready. The Wakefield location is closed the longest by far and is expected to reopen July 18th, but every other location is scheduled to be closed July 3rd for the system to be installed. Cranston and Providence are expected to reopen July 5th, Middletown and Woonsocket on the 13th, Warren will reopen July 18th, and Westerly the 21st if all goes according to plan. To help with closures, the DMV suggests doing everything you can online or through the mail. They'll waive the banking charges. Also, AAA has agreed to process DMV transactions for non-members as well. Now, some members of the General Assembly wrote a letter to the governor asking her to reconsider how long the Wakefield branch will be closed, saying it's by f it's unfair to South County residents who will be without their branch the longest. A DMV spokesperson said they didn't make that decision lightly, but it was made in part because the Wakefield branch has the lowest volume and it's the closest to an alternative option, the AAA in Narragansett. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.